Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. This is my helper, Elsie. So we're gonna let her set aside right now because she gets a little bored or run function. She's ready to get rough. Today, we're gonna cover a really cool project. This right here is a cabinet that I built into the wall. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step step all the things we did to get it to this point. Before that, I wanna announce uh, last video's lucky winner. Chad LaBeouf of Pearl River, Louisiana has just won this tool right here. And we have a lot of giveaways just like this. This is the Rockwell Sonicare Variable Speed 20 Volt Multi-Tool. This thing is fantastic and we're gonna have another giveaway at the end of this video. Make sure to check it out to see how to win one. Let's get on with the video. I made mirror frames here and I gave it a little distressed look. This is cedar. I wanna get the same type of old look right here. So this is an old cypress window. We're gonna clean it up I have to change a pane, no big deal, and, and we're gonna take and make this part of the cabinet. What we need to do is get the measurement of this window, and I'm gonna take it out and make a frame that'll match this, okay? So once I have a frame that matches this, and I know I'm good with that, we'll build around it to get it to fit in the wall just the way we want, want it to. So let's take this outside and get started. First thing we're gonna do is take the plywood and just make a little box and then we'll work off of that. So with my box I need to come out one quarter of an inch wider than this so I can fit my hinges in there in order to open and close it because this is going to be an inset door. And this just gives me a reference point to go off of. That's where we want to make our cut. This plywood is, is bowed, so it's, it's not going to be square. So what I did was I set the window down in here, and I took my clamps with my speed squares. Now this is a 12-inch one. You don't have to use 12-inch ones. I just happen to have it there. And this will pull it. I'll let it sit down in the middle with my Irwin clamp, lock it tight, and it squares it up right here. So now I can see exactly where my window is supposed to go. I can see my reveal and all. My total width of here from the inside to inside is 31 and a quarter. But what I want to do is go right to that edge and come out. So the inside part of this needs to be 31 and a quarter. I'm putting this together with my K4 pocket screw uh, set. This is a fantastic little tool. It's a little pricey, so if you need a smaller one, they make smaller ones too. Flip it upside down, do the same thing. It's getting late, I started real late on this. The clamp keeps them perfect with each other. Nice. I'm going to run the glue all the way around it. We're going to start from this corner here because I know it's square. And we'll tack that in first. I'm using inch and a quarter nails. You really don't want to use anything more than inch and a half on this because it's only th half inch plywood. A lot of times I like to use three quarter, but I had half inch here. so. I'm going to shoot right into there and you don't want it splintering out. An inch and a quarter does a, a good job, an inch and a half, like it will work. But if you start going into two inch nails, it, if you're just off a tiny bit, it's going to kick out. So we're going to go right here with this, get it top and bottom, pop a few nails in here. So 
since I'm by myself, it comes in handy to not have a piece of glass there. I'm going to cut one for it, but, but <laughs> it works out just right. So I can hold it up here, make my mark, hold it on that side, make my mark. We will get that measurement from these, make sure they're right, and then we're going to add a quarter inch to that. So I have an eighth inch on the bottom and an eighth inch on top. I have a piece right here that I can use and uh, I can get to it from the back side so I'll put pocket screws in that. We want to have this right here cut out and I'm going to block it off, frame it up so the cabinet can go back in here. We're going to set it back all the way to the uh, outside sheathing right there. I'm going to use my jigsaw with my special blade that I made for this and uh, you can check out the other link. It's going to be in the description box that shows you how to get to that. So you can cut out these walls easily without having to worry about hitting anything behind them. I have a stud right here, I'll just run it right up next to the stud. You can see how I was able to make that cut all the way around and not even touch the studs. I already started the screw and I put it on an angle so I can get to it easily. Now I'm going to push it down and get it right on that line, on my lower line right there. And I'll run a screw into the wall, on the stud. Then we'll take this baby and set it in here. Put it against the wall on this side here, make sure it's good and tight. And then I just have to put a couple of blocks in here. Put my level on, make sure everything's good. Good. So I'm gonna get up here and mark my lines across the edge here. I'm using some scrap pieces of wood to shim this. I just uh, screw it into the stud right here. There's a couple of key things that I want to bring out to you so you can understand when I built this cabinet why I did certain things. Um, I didn't show it, but uh, I mentioned a little bit while I was building it, but the face frame right here is flush on the inside and it overhangs all the way around. The reason why I did that was because I wanted to set this into the wall and by setting it in the wall, I had to have a hole cut in there. I wanted to make sure that this covered all the way around. So with this lip hanging over right here, I was able to cut a one by six and rip it to where it sat just behind my face frame and it went against the wall tight. So now it looks like it's built into the wall and it has a nice clean look. Another thing is I didn't cover on the video the backing that I put on this cabinet, but all I did was take the cabinet, set it down on a piece of Luan. This is a uh, this is Luan, it's, it's a quarter inch plywood that's finished. And when I set it on there, I just traced around it and cut my piece. 
I cut it to go to the outside of the frame, just right around it. And then I tacked it on the back. That way when I set it back there, I didn't have a, a full half inch piece of plywood or anything like that that's gonna take up space on the outside. And I didn't have to inset it to take up space on the inside because I want as much room as I can have on the inside of this cabinet. Okay, I wanna step back a little bit. So I'm gonna put one right here on a second hole and on a second hole from the back. I don't want it to go all the way through, so I'm gonna use a bottle cap. You can use tape, but I really like the way this works. You can use both of them together if you want. I'm just gonna go through, right through the bottle cap. And the Coca-Cola caps have that rubber seal on the bottom, so it really grabs and it stops where you want it to. I take this and I'm gonna set it to where it goes about halfway through my board, and I'll just drill my holes. I have right here until it hits that. I'll follow it back here and do the same thing. That's it. Go down and do the bottom ones. When you mark it off, you keep this the same way. It goes here first, okay, or on this side first. It doesn't matter. Make sure the bottom is tight and not kicked out because your holes will be off. Then you just slide it over so and use the same the same hole. Now I just mark my line on both sides that way I know exactly where my lines are. On the next video we're going to cover how I made this door with the metal metal part in there and we're going to we're going to show how to do that and then also I'm going to show you how to get the proper hardware to do something like this and we're going to install the hardware as well. You want to pay attention to my new videos. If you don't mind, subscribe. This is very, very important. If you subscribe, you have to hit the little bell. If you hit that bell, you'll get a notification when I put up a video. The reason why I'm stressing that you need to hit the bell when you subscribe to my channel is because I need a way to get in touch with you. We have giveaways all the time, and these are three different giveaways that I have that people have not claimed. Right now, we're gonna give away one saw. This right here is an oscillating tool and it's not just a saw, it's a sander, it's all types of things. You really want to check this out. It's a Sonicrafter by Rockwell. Rockwell has excellent tools and this has a 20 year warranty on the tool and a 20 year free replacement on the batteries. Check them out at Amazon.com and you can see. Just look at some of the reviews on Rockwell if you're not familiar with them. Nothing but positive stuff to say about them. Great tools. Right here is Works. Works makes a lot of different things for the DIYer and this right here is a great innovative little tool. It's a, an exact track saw and I'll go into this when we have that giveaway. We're going to be giving away this in, a, in one of the future videos coming up and we're going to give away a Louisville ladder. This is the best A-frame ladder that you'll ever use, I promise you. I use these all the time and I'm going to be touching on these tools as I give them away. So you make sure to check out my next few videos because we have a giveaway right here for one person who's going to win out of the first 150 people that comment. Drop a comment on me. You have to hit the bell. I get back with you. You win this tool. You have 10 days to get back with me. That way I can send you this tool or have Rockwell send it out to you. If you don't want to have notifications for a while, hit the bell again and it'll turn it off and you won't get notifications from me. This right here is a set of doors that I made out of simple two by sixes and, uh, and plywood. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it, how to make the frame, how to decorate it up, the whole works. We're covering this whole bathroom real soon. I'm going to be ripping out the shower and I'm going to show you how we tile that. So make sure to check me out on the future videos. I'll see you guys on the next project. If you don't mind, please hit like for me. Come on. You want some of this? <laughs> Firehouse Elsie. <laughs>